Katie and it is Monday and I am just waiting for the lift. It is in the afternoon, well, it's actually in the evening. It's like six o'clock and it's got dark really quickly. Um, we just kind of had a relaxing morning, had a nice lay in and then did some blog work today and we have post. So we're gonna go pick up our post. Now normally our post comes to our apartment, but it hasn't today. So we have to go to like a little box place to pick it up. So Monday, weekly vlog, week three. So, so it's really dark, I'm not entirely sure if you can see me, but we have, there's like a thing, it's called the Hive Box. And like I said, so normally when we order things off Taobao, it comes to our door, but I think what happens is when it's somebody who's, if someone orders it for you, you have to come here. So there was um, this dongle thing that Callum wanted for his switch that we couldn't order off our Taobao for some reason, so my TA Jessie orders it for me. Um, and this is so it ends up here so normally it comes to the door but today it's come here so I'm going to try and figure out how to use it here we go sorted so order some Chinese food. Our food has arrived. Well, one of them has. So we have ordered three different types of dishes, like Chinese dishes from three different restaurants. So they will take their time to get here. But our first one has arrived. And this is like a Chinese burger is what it's referred to as. And it's basically, um, sometimes it's pork, sometimes it's beef. And it's kind of like, sometimes it's lamb even. And you can get it like, uh, it's really tender and they put it in the middle with like spring onions and this is kind of like a like a roll but it's like it kind of tastes a little bit like hard thicker naan bread that's the, probably my best way to describe it but they're really popular in Xi'an so if you go to Xi'an go to the Muslim quarter and they have like the best ones there you have to wait for like 10 20 minutes when they make up a new like batch and there's a long queue but it's worth it because they're amazing and I feel like I haven't had one in ages so I'm looking forward to having this We have, oh. uh, yes, yeah. <laughs> so our food has arrived, we have some, now I don't know how to pronounce this, cha shu, cha shui, cha su, thank you Callum, it is pronounced cha su, <laughs> so we've ordered a little portion of this, and we also have some kebab sticks, we've ordered some lamb kebabs today, and I've ordered some sausage kebabs, because I love the sausage ones, and we're going to sit down for the evening. Good evening, it is now Tuesday. Today we have been working all day. I'll be honest, we got up at about nine o'clock in the morning. We had some nice cantaloupe for breakfast, which we bought in Metro the other day. And we have just been working all day. Anyway, it is now evening and I'm going to make some curry. I have, let me just grab the packet. We use this curry and it's my favorite. Let me just find it, let me just find it. So I love Thai yellow curry from BLT and Carry4. You can get these like sachets. And what we did actually find in Metro was this massive tub of yellow curry, so curry powder, like paste. So we're gonna use this for today because we already had some, um, but we really like this type of curry. So we're thinking next time we're in Metro, we might just buy the big tub because we love it. Mm. It is Wednesday and we are going out to the Italian quarter today. I reckon it's going to be quite busy so we'll see how that goes but we're going to have a little wander around and hopefully stop for a drink if we can find a place that isn't too busy. So I mentioned earlier about Golden Week but I'm not entirely sure if I've actually explained what it is. So Golden Week is a national holiday here in China. It is where 
everyone has time off like everybody isn't working everybody goes and sees their families everybody travels which means that golden week in october and so yeah golden week is normally the first week of october but it means that golden week in october and the chinese new year which is the same thing everyone has time off is the busiest time to explore china and see china because cities are normally fairly busy but they're not too bad but you've got to remember that there are lots of villages and towns in between the big cities and everyone kind of floods into the city so it's a really busy time during Chinese New Year and Golden Week so if you're coming to China as well I would definitely avoid this time because you will not see or do half the things that you want to because it is so busy So here is an example of how busy it is here. There is a river cruise that you can take down the river. And it's a really nice experience and normally it's pretty quiet. Like it's pretty, it's a, normally a pretty quiet experience. We just had a look and the queue goes all the way up the river. It is so incredibly long. People are gonna be waiting there for hours. So we have found a French restaurant, we are having a drink and just we're going to have some calamari rings um, and then we're going to go her back for dinner at home because it's really busy, all the restaurants are packed. So we thought we would just relax. There's like a German bar next door that is really loud so I don't think you can hear me. Um, but yeah, so drinks and a starter. <laughs> No, it's not. It's Friday. I don't even know what I'm on about. It's not Thursday. It is Friday. This is how fast this week has gone. I always find this when I have weeks off. They go so quickly. 
So to be honest, yesterday we just worked. Like we worked our butts off all day and in the evening we went for a nice little walk and picked up some more post and went to 7-Eleven to pick up some salad. <clears throat> and that is what we're having now. So we actually got up this morning at three o'clock in the morning to watch the football. That is the problem with living in China is that because of the football times, sometimes the games are on at really, really silly times and we can't normally get up because I've got work. So that's what we did this morning is get up really early and watch the football. Then we went back to bed, because you know, tired. And now it's like kind of midday and I'm just cooking some bacon so I'm making sure it doesn't burn. So that is kind of our lunch and then we're just gonna carry on working this afternoon. To be honest, we have lots of kind of projects that we wanna work on and get done. And I'm sure we'll talk about them a bit more as the weeks go on, but um, we need to like really crack on with them because we kind of spent the first few days being a bit lazy. <laughs> so the next few days is just about kind of working and keep on going, so yes. Thursday, working day. No, Friday, it's Friday still. It's still Friday, Friday, working day. Good morning, it is Saturday and it's actually lunchtime, so I'm gonna say good afternoon because it is the afternoon. We have just, I've been putting my YouTube video up this morning and we've been getting on with some work and we decided to go out for some lunch. Um, and yeah, we're gonna have a little wander around the mall. Hopefully it's a little bit quieter because like I said earlier in the week, it was golden week. So we're hoping it's a bit quieter and we can, we're gonna pick up some bits and bobs from 7-Eleven as well. And yeah, just having a little wander. So we're in our local shopping mall called Lotte and we are trying to decide what restaurant to eat in. I will be honest, when you are living in China, a lot of the time, you kind of just go off with what the restaurant looks like and how pretty the characters are. Because we cannot read Mandarin. There's a fountain behind me, excellent. And we can't read Mandarin, so we don't entirely know what we are ordering. So we're going to go to, there's a, a place that looks like a Korean barbecue place, which is a chain, but it's meant to be quite good. So we're going to try that. So we are in the Korean restaurant and we've just ordered, and you know what was really cool? They have like a Korean menu, well, a Chinese menu, but they've also got like an English menu as well, which is the first that we've seen um, in this shopping mall, which is super cool. Um, we've ordered a mushroom soup and a curry soup. So it's a hot pot style, but it's a Korean style hot pot place. So we've got a, a mushroom soup and a curry soup. We've also, also ordered the vegetable platter. Sorry, it's not really noisy behind me. We've also ordered the vegetable platter. And for meats, we've got lamb, beef, and bacon. And we ordered some Coca-Cola as well. And it came to 124 RMB. So I'm gonna be honest, I went to a hot pot place with my teaching assistant at school. So I know how this works. So I'm gonna explain it to Callum. So these are our soups. And then you order your meats that look like this. So this is, I don't know, I think this is our bacon. This is our beef and this is lamb. It doesn't look like lamb, but I'm guessing it's lamb. Is that lamb, Callum? What do you think? You think that's lamb? Okay. So these are our meats, and then we also ordered like a vegetable platter, which for some reason has a salt and egg in the middle of it. And then, I'm not sure what we do with the egg, I'll be honest. So then this, you just put into one of these broths and you let it sit for a bit and cook. And then this is like, they have packets. So I think this looks like a peanut butter one. And then this looks like a barbecue one. And how it works is you put the, like whatever you are flavoring you want in your pot here. And when you take it out with your chopsticks, you take it out of here and then you put it into here and then you eat it that way. And I think that's how it works because that's how it worked when I went with it with Jessie and Lucia. That's how I think it works. Let's try it. So I put some peanut butter in my pot because I know I like peanut butter. I'm not entirely sure what this is. I think it's barbecue because yeah, I asked what seasoning we wanted and I pointed at barbecue because I didn't understand that because they are all flavours that I didn't recognise. Salt. Ah! Mmm. It's like... It's a really strong one, this one. I might have just a little bit, to be honest. Because it's, it's quite strong. I'm not sure if I like it that much. So, but I reckon... Mmm. I reckon Calum, I reckon you're like this. It's like... I can't really tell what the flavour is. Kind of like a sesame with like a fish sauce type smell. But not as strong as fish sauce. I reckon you would like it. It's like... Oh, I don't know what it smells like. You know that stu the stuff? <laughs> Watching this, you won't understand it, but Calum will understand what this is. When you have like duck here, sometimes you get like a poison sauce, but it's not quite a poison sauce. It smells like that. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And then you can, I'm gonna add a bit of coriander to mine. Um, I'll put this here. I'm gonna add a bit of coriander to my mix, just a little bit for now. And then you can always add them. So they've given us like 
they give, you, they give you like plenty of beads and you can ask for more for your sources and you can just add more as you go along but there's also like i'm going to bring it over there's like a chili oil if you like chili i'm not a spicy person but Callum, I'm sure you'll appreciate like a chili oil if you want to add that. So when I went with Jessie, my TA, she was all over the chili oil and she had it ridiculously spicy. But so you can add your chili oil to it. That is quite nice as here in China. I don't like chili food, I like spicy food. So it's quite nice being able to have an option without the spicy food. Anyway, this is bubbling, so I'm going to start putting meat in it. Let's go with. This is bacon. Should we put a bit of bacon in uh, our mushroom one? And then I'll put some bacon in this one too. This is a curry one. And let's put some lamb, a bit of lamb in each of them as well, yeah? Oh, oh they give you so much. It has so much like meat here, Callum. Let's get some of those vegetables out. There's a massive thing of mushroom, Callum. What should we do with this? I'm going to put it in my thing and then I'll split it. Because I just put a whole chunk in there. Oh, are these done? I don't think they're done yet. I don't know. What is this? What is this? Greens. Greens, excellent. <laughs> do you want some greens, Callum? <laughs> so this food is amazing we like this restaurant is literally next to our apartment like you can walk through a cutway from our apartment down to the supermarket this like super mall this mall shopping mall that's one and it's like right there and every time we're like oh one day we'll go and we never have and we've lived here for like over a year we've never been and i'm really gutted because now i kind of want to go every week um, but, but yes, yeah, so we have like this vegetable platter that's really nice. I have just rechatted my TA. I feel so helpless in China. So I have a TA called Jessie and she is freaking amazing. And like every time I'm not sure about something or need help with something, I ask her. And like no matter, even in the holidays, she's there because she's just amazing. So um, I just sent her a message like, we have an egg on our vegetable platter. What am I meant to do with it? <laughs> but yeah, so this food is really good. Uh, I'm really liking the curry sauce actually, it's not spicy at all. It tastes like, I don't, I don't know, how would you describe the, the curry cabin? It kind of tastes like a Japanese... Like a Japanese a curry, I thought. Japanese. A watery Japanese curry, there we go. Nice description. So yeah, it tastes like a watery Japanese curry. Um, but it's really good. The, the lamb and the bacon's really nice. The beef is really nice, but I've only put it in the curry, the curry one yet, so I'm going to try a mushroom one now. But it tastes pretty good. So we are still eating and it's some time later but we're just saying I think they're going to have to get a new table by the time we finish because we are making such a mess like I even dropped a corn on a cob down me like I don't know how you meant to eat it with chopsticks does anyone know if you know how to eat corn on the cob with chopsticks let me know in the comments below I tried like the, the chopsticks on either end didn't work um, and yeah so whilst I was wrestling with the corn on the cob I managed to drop it down myself so there's now a curry peanut stain sauce on the floor with a corn on the cob in the middle of it and some nice stains down my dress so always good can we crack on with some more food I think so on our dish there was like an egg I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do with it so I'm just going to ah, put it in I'm not really sure if this is what we're meant to do with it. Does anyone know? I'm just going to sit and watch it for a bit, I think. Literally, as we've just put the egg in the hot pot, my TA Jessie has just replied and said, you're meant to crack it into the hot pot. So I've quickly taken it out. I've let it cool down. I'm going to let it cool down. I'm going to try and crack it into the hot pot in a minute. So I cracked the egg and it's somewhere in here. But it wasn't boiled. We thought it would be boiled. And then you were like, I don't know. I don't know what we thought. It's in there somewhere, but I don't know what's happened to it. So lunch is over with and I am so full. I ate too much. Anyway, we are going to pop to 7-Eleven to pick up some salads because we are going to have some salad with our dinner tonight. And we are going to pop to Lotte to get some strawberry and lime cider. 
then we will pop to the post boxy. So I've been ordering a few bits and bobs from Taobao recently and most of the time they get delivered to our address but recently they've been like every so often the odd parcel ends up in this box thing. We've been there before this week but we've got some more stuff there so we need to pop there afterwards. This is new, what is it? I think it's a massive cocoa. This looks exciting too, I wanna to try this. It's called Duran and Mango Icy Bread. Mm. Good morning, it is Sunday morning. It isn't too late actually, we managed to get up at a normal time, shocker, I know. So it is, we woke up about eight this morning and to be honest, we've just been doing some work because I needed to get one more blog finished for next week. I try to write my blogs ahead of time so that I don't have to worry too much about them during the week. So I was doing that this morning um, and then we just had some nice lunch, we ordered some kebab sticks because you know, I well, fancy to change. <laughs> um, and now I'm just gonna be filming some videos for this channel, so, and for Create a Travel Guide. So I'm gonna do a Taobao haul in a minute and I think I might have gone over the top <laughs> with my Taobao purchases for this video. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna film a video about travel in China and living in China for Creative Travel Guide. And I'm just gonna do a few kind of little videos so that I can start editing this week and they probably won't come out for a little while, but I wanna kind of get ahead of schedule because I know that once I get back to work, it'll be super busy. So that is the plan for today. And then once I've done that, I'm gonna do some grocery shopping. So I'll show you some groceries in a little while. So I bought some things from Taobao with the idea of doing a Taobao haul and I think I might have bought a few too many things. So I have finished my Taobao haul and it took some time, I must say, definitely ordered too many things. But I've also kind of, in the meantime, decided I want to do a Christmas shopping haul as well. Because I want to get more Christmas decorations for the house and for my classroom. So I will be doing one of them, I think, because I really like Christmas. Anyway, um, so I finished that and I'm just tidying up and I've just put all the boxes on the table because I want to do a thumbnail for the Taobao haul video now. So I need to do that. And I've also ordered some groceries. So the groceries shall be here soon and I will show you what our grocery shopping haul is kind of like for a normal week. I don't think I've kind of done that too much yet because we kind of end up ordering from bits and bobs of places. But today I've ordered from Carry4 and I've ordered from a fruit and veg shop because we didn't get to go to the fruit and veg market this morning because I slept in. So I've ordered from two places and when they get here, I will show you what we've got. So to start off with, I bought some water. We have a water dispenser over here, but this is kind of just bottled water that we like to put in the fridge because this one over here has kind of lukewarm water and then hot water because the Chinese people like to drink hot water. So we get bottles of water like this and pop it in the fridge and have it when we want a cold bottle of water. Um, I also bought some vitamin water as well. We found this on Carry4. We haven't seen this one there before, so we picked some of that up. Uh, some bread for toast in the morning and some pasta as well. And then chicken. I think I've mentioned this before in our weekly vlogs, but ch chicken just comes in like a plastic bag because in the shop it is displayed just like on a, like uh, just as chicken breasts and it's not always frozen either. So that is our chicken. And then I also, also that, that stuff here from over here is from Walmart. And then we normally shop at a fruit and veg market, but we didn't go this morning because I slept in. So we bought some stuff from a fruit and veg shop. And this is from here as well. It's actually like slices of meat, because I do have some fresh meat. I'm not entirely sure that is. It looks interesting, so we might have some of that for dinner. And then yes, this is our fruit. I went a bit overboard on my fruit and veg this week because I wanna try and get some more fruit and veg in us, especially as it's getting colder here. Um, and I'm having some more curries as well, so it helps. So we have lots of peppers in here and 
to be honest as well like the fruit and veg market the local one we have we do get some of this fruit and veg from here but we don't manage to you can't always find all of this types of variety so i might use this app in future when i want a bit more variety because there's a lot more stuff so i bought a massive thing of spinach i must admit i didn't realize there'd be as much spinach in there so that should be nice with our pastas and stuff bought loads of mushrooms because i love mushrooms and it's really difficult to find like white mushrooms like this um, you can find like shiitake mushrooms but these types of mushrooms are quite difficult to find i bought some broccoli heads and some uh what are these called bean sprouts some bean sprouts here i do love some bean sprouts i bought some carrots just to kind of like add a bit of about uh, add to a few meals i've got an onion that's massive like it's the size it's bigger than my hand it's massive i bought some um cabbage and well to be honest i thought that was lettuce i think it's cabbage this happens a lot i think lettuce translates to cabbage in when i use apps so that's annoying but i'm sure i'll eat it anyway but i have to get some lettuce from downstairs in the supermarket um i bought some bananas i bought some corn on the cob because it was on a really good offer and i quite like corn on the cob and we've got steak in the freezer so i might have some corn on the cob with steak this week um, I bought some avocado as well. I'm hoping that this should be nice. Sometimes we get it from Carry Four, and it's not always um, like it's not always that that soft. So that should be good. Hopefully, it's a bit better. Uh, these are gigantic spring onions, some red onion, some sweet corn. It's actually frozen, which I didn't expect, but that should be quite nice. Some tomatoes and some apples. So that's kind of a quick overview of our grocery shopping this week so it is sunday and it is nearly it's just past six o'clock so i'm going to put the grocery shopping away me and Callum are going to order some food for dinner tonight i think because um i forgot to take the chicken out earlier and the chicken that's arrived today is frozen um so i can't make um we're gonna make curry i keep saying i'm gonna make butter chicken curry and one day i will <laughs> It's now become a running joke that I just haven't made it. Anyway, so we're going to have a Chinese takeaway tonight and probably just order some duck, I think. And this evening, actually, Chelsea are playing, so we're going to watch the football and I'm going to edit this weekly vlog ready for tomorrow. And tomorrow I'm back at work. So I'm going to round off the weekly vlog today. I hope you like this video and thank you for staying with it all for all week and uh yeah if you like this video please make sure you give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe if there's stuff that you'd like to see more of like living in china and other kind of videos that you're looking for from me then just let me know in the comments below anyway until next time bye